Hello Chatbox out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I've got up to on my last few days of this week. On my first day I wasn't supposed to work, I just normally my day off, but one of my colleagues had to have cover so I was like, I'll come in. So I got up, got showered and into my work uniform, had some breakfast and I was brushing my teeth and all of a sudden I had this excruciating pain and I'd only gone and chipped on my teeth so of course I was in absolute agony and so I got my mum up who was asleep at the time and was like mum my turf and so she phoned up the dentist and got me a dentist appointment for about two o'clock so my old brother who was off to the gym anyway kindly dropped me up to work didn't even drop me to work he dropped me down the road so I had to cross over the level crossing and walk up even though my the side of my mouth was in agony but I had this special like toothpaste spray thing that I used spraying on the gum that was helping kind of numb it and help it so I got to work got clocked in explained to my manager how I'd have to go at 1.45 to get there for about two-ish and so I was just serving lots of food and drinks cleaning lots of tables did a pretty good job considering how I was in utter agony and I was working with one of my colleagues who I didn't really get to work with that much so I was looking forward to working with her and me and her are super chatty and we got on really well and she's so lovely so that was really good and that kind of helped me forget about the pain because she's so lovely and so funny and I had a few drinks of apple juice and just trying to and just water so I was trying not to drink too much fizzy stuff because of my teeth and then I was finished I got clocked off and I had a little bit of extra time because I was out a bit early and so I went off and got some flower flats from the flower shop that I'm going to show you guys now. I absolutely love the flower shop, it's so lovely in there. I then went off and I was going to get myself a frappe from the coffee place around the corner which my mate I played touch with, with owns. But I thought better not with my tooth being like it is and I was going to be having it pulled out so I didn't think drinking a cold beverage would be a wise choice. I got to the dentist and they were on a lunch break still so of course I had to wait outside like a lorry just waiting around and then they opened the door and I came and waited in the dentist and got a nice flower snap of some flowers on the dentist receptionist office while I waited and waited and waited and literally felt like I was waiting forever then I got seen and went in and they were saying about the different type of options we could do and I was like just yank it out just get it out so they kindly gave me this tablet thing because I hadn't eaten anything because I really bad remember to eat and drink so of course they were like we here have this like tablet thing that will give you energy so I ate that it tasted quite nice and then I had to tip out they had to take a bit of the root out as well and they numbed it all and the dentist is pretty cute and has got really nice blue eyes so it made it go a lot quicker and yeah he's really lovely and I paid for that it's pretty expensive but I'm working I'm earning I can do that so I paid for that and also paid for the follow up checkup which I have on the 12th of August I'm going to be going just to have a general checkup check the efforts all right and I then made my way back home I then put my work clothes in the wash ready for my shift the next day and me and my mum would just watch a bit of TV and I just had some I think what is it? oh porridge that's it I just had some porridge because can't eat anything too hard at the moment because I don't want to upset it so I just had some porridge 
and watched Henry and Neighbours and my grandma came in to check on the engine soldier as she said and was just asking how I was doing. Stayed for a bit, she then went off home and then I had to do a cable test because my uncle's got COVID unfortunately and of course we saw him on the weekend so we had to get tests done and so of course that was a lot of fun but I'm negative so that's good. Doing a COVID test is probably the closest I'll ever get to doing a pregnancy test so I would say please 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 don't be negative, please don't be positive, be negative, that's it, negative, I'm, yeah, not positive, negative. Normally they tell you to be positive but on this occasion you do not want to be positive and yeah I was so relieved and so yeah we're all in the clear, hallelujah and my older brother was on his Xbox, younger brother at work, older sister is still away at our funny friend's house and it was his birthday the other day and she stayed up for a few days up there. She is back tonight I think and then my young sister's kissed at hers and my dad was fishing, he is really enjoying doing his fishing, it's very therapeutic for him and then I, for my tea I just had an omelette which was very nice. Very nice and soft, very easy to eat and had a cup of tea, trying to drink not just water because I absolutely hate water and it wasn't actually too bad, I just tried to drink on this side, not this side. I then finished writing my journal, I put that away, my older brother went off to rugby, I couldn't go to touch rugby because of my tooth being out, which is a shame as last week's was called off due to the heat, so I'm just going to have to wait until next Thursday's rugby and then I was watching the UK soaps, I fished right on my journal and put that away. My dad was back from being at fishing and then my older brother was back from being at rugby and then I watched Love Island and it's the end of Castlemore and the lads are coming back. So last night and in tonight's episode we're going to be seeing if they stayed loyal or if it's Stick or Trist. The choice is yours. Love Bit Carly Minogue from slow and yeah so it's stick of trust hashtag stick of trust and all the one of them was loyal and the other one came back with another girl and it's just so savage and I just really hope that Liam doesn't come back with Lily and that she he stays with Millie if not the nation is going to be livid because he's just been such a dog she's been so loyal and it actually makes me embarrassed to be a male when I watch them just thinking with their down their hearts because they just they're just so stupid and it's just really embarrassing and just super duper cringy so it's like just stressing me out really and yeah I then went off to bed and I was just absolutely shattered my gum was pretty sore so I had some Bonjello on that and that really helped but then went off to bed and then I got up for my Saturday wait no Friday that it's Friday today not Saturday I'm just all over the place at the moment, I've just got so many shifts, I've got shifts coming out of my ears. So on my Friday, I got up, I got shower and changed, and had some porridge for my breakfast. Of course, the porridge is the only thing at the moment, good thing I absolutely love porridge, and had a little bit of honey with that. I then got myself ready for work, my older brother was on his Xbox, box, younger brother at work, old sister away still, dad was at work, and I asked my older brother, Carney, because it was raining, if he could drop me to work. And he was like, no, I'm not dropping you to work. So, of course, my mum had to get up, even though she hadn't slept very well, and dropped me to work. So I got to work, I got clocked in, and I was just having lots of food and drinks, cleaning off the tables, doing some of the bill taking. And, yeah, it went really well. I only made a few little hiccups, but I saw them, and that's the main thing. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And, yeah, it was really good. It was a really good first part to my shift. And yeah, I just love my work family. They're so lovely, so supportive, and it's always just so much fun. I do think a few of them don't really like me that much, but you're not going to get along with everyone you work with, and you just have to put up with it. I've worked there nearly three years now, and I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. A few of them have left, which is a shame, but I wish them all the best. One of the chefs has left, and yeah, nobody tells me nothing. I turned out, I was like, oh, Wes one of his chests and they're like, oh yeah they left and I was like oh I didn't know I didn't get told nothing and yeah it was a really good shift I saw a few people I know living in a small town there's always someone you're going to know coming in so that was quite nice and then 
I was finished for the day. I finished at three. I got clocked off, and I'm back in again doing six till close. Oh God, I can't believe it. And I've got a split shift tomorrow as well, and I think I'm working Sunday as well. And then just lots and lots of shifts, but I'm just figured a little money as me and my grandparents and my mum are off to Minehead in a caravan in September. It's got a veranda, very fancy, very lovely, and I'm just so looking forward to getting there. So I'll just have lots of dosh to spend on my holes. And then I made my way back home. It was quite sunny. It's got a bit cloudy again. The weather has been crazy today. It's been sunny, then cloudy, then raining, and yeah, you just can't make his mind up. But on my way home, luckily it was quite sunny. So I went off to the flash shop again, and yeah, I can't take, I guess can't stay away from the place. I just love it in there. I've got some more flash that I'm going to show you guys now. I just love it in that flower shop so much and the first one of the flower shops that you've seen it's like a cactus kind of thing and it reminds me of Deirdre 2 from Little Shop of Horrors it looks like it's gonna like try and eat you it looks it's just trying off it kind of looks like quite alien like but it's so beautiful and I did get told the name of it but I cannot remember it's this one out of my head I then went off down to the coffee place and got myself a white chocolate and mint frappe which I was so good and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. Just love them so much, they're so delicious and I talked to one of my ex-colleagues who now works in there as the times were a lot more flexible for her and she had a little child that she wasn't really getting to see where she worked with me, where I work. So she's got more freedom there. Like, more hours and stuff and yeah she's really enjoyed it in there and she makes the cakes for there and they are always amazing cakes and she was just heading off just as she finished making my drink and she had to go home and make some more cakes for the next day and I saw two of my touch rugby teammates who had come in to get some coffees and so I had a nice chat with them and it was so lovely I then made my way back home I got back put my work clothes in the wash ready to get ready for my shift tonight just giving them a quick wash and my dad has gone off back to work to lock up and I had a cup of tea and then just wrote a bit of my journal and I'm now off to go and watch today's Aussie soaps and just chill for the rest of the remainder of my little break and then I'm going to be getting ready to go back to work. When I get back my siblings and my parents are going to be having takeaway but I can't really eat much because my gum would test a little bit sore so I'm just going to be having some scrambled egg on toast or some soup or probably some porridge and yeah I can't wait till I can actually eat solid food again and yeah I hope you guys have had a lovely week or have a lovely rest of your Friday and a great weekend ahead and I shall see you in a new vlog coming very soon. Bye!